Hi, my name is Tarian Roy, and I'm Sharice Barkley, and together we are Quick Corner. Uh, Quick Corner is a weekly, sometimes bi-weekly Facebook Live that we do from our studio at home. We each week or each time we have a live, we discuss different issues, different topics, depending on the climate of what's going around at the time. So the first time we did the live, it was around the Jason Jones case. And I realized that a lot of people on my Facebook feed didn't know what the case was about. So even if they knew what the case was about, they didn't understand the jargon, they didn't understand the law. So they didn't know what a savings law clause was. So I put up a status and I said, I'm going to go live this evening to explain everything to you all. And things just went on from there. I mean, it, it emulsified, I think, would be the best word when we realized that the media itself wasn't doing such a great job of portraying the LGBTQI community in that the stories that they would carry usually had a negative connotation and had nothing to do to uplift our community or help them feel like if they're even part of a community. So I think this was when we were having Danica on the show. We said, let's give it a name and let's do this for real and let's keep this going because we had a good bit of views the first time. And then since then, it's just been climbing and climbing and we are now at like 3,000 something was our last one, was the viewer rating. So we're doing pretty good, I think. Um, as Sarah said, we started with the Jason Jones case. After that, we did spoken word and poetry through the ages within the LGBT community. I think after that, we did one on love, sex, and all the fields with a psychologist who helped us to uh, uncover all of the myths and all of the taboo topics in relationships, especially in queer relationships, like polyamory and what is actually cheating, et cetera, et cetera, and how you break communication and make communication as well. Um, we did religious bigotry. We did mental health, which was a really, that was a passionate one for me. And I believe we also did one on Pride, and then this evening we're going to do one with the transgender community of Guyana. Well, as Sharice mentioned before, we noticed that uh, the media portrays their stories in a particular way. So, for example, they would be happy to report a story that an uh, LGBT person was kicked out, and that would have like a lot of views, and they would run with that story, but they wouldn't put up a story about, well, what do we need to do to prevent people from being kicked out of their homes? What do we need to do in terms of law, in terms of policy? Because those stories aren't exciting and they don't give them the viewership that they wanted. And we were tired of having to meet with them and to continuously explain to them why their way of reporting was problematic and what we needed as a community. Also, I just realized that sometimes a lot of people, especially on like my Facebook, they don't understand the language that activists might use. So we might be accustomed to our regular jargon, and our, you know, the words that we use, intersectionality, the same as law clauses, constitutionality, and they don't understand what we're talking about. So I figured it was a good way to use the privilege that I had of having access to all this information and all these terms and break it down in a way that everybody else could have access to it. So.